Hey guys, it's Melanie. What is up? I'm so excited for today's video because we are cleaning out all of my craft supplies. Sometimes I feel like you just get in a very cleany mood and I have been itching to organize all of my craft supplies because honestly, I've been crafting a lot this summer and it's become a total mess. So I'm bringing you guys along with me. So let's go get straight into it. Okay guys, this might be a little weird, but you are in my living room. Sometimes there's snippets of my house, but I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this room. Part of that is because this room is unfortunately pretty messy. That is pretty much all my fault. I have a lot of stuff in general. Anyways, I'm a little embarrassed. That's why I'm trying to hide this, but I have a lot of craft supplies and they're mainly separated into two different places. So this is just the first half of it. And oh my gosh, there is a lot. This is the first craft section. You can't even see, but like behind this fan underneath this like we literally covered it with a bed sheet because there was too much there's three more bins of craft supplies okay i think we can start by like having a cleaning space so i'm gonna try to move everything out of the way and i will also try to defend myself that my mom does some crafting too she used to do like scrapbooking this is very niche but she's very into gnome making so like i swear half of this stuff is her gnome making stuff but we kind of share a lot of craft supplies but i'm gonna just try to organize all of it in my head right now, I'm just really trying to embrace the whole like it's gonna get messier before it gets cleaner. That is especially the case with craft supplies just because I'm gonna have to lay all of this out. These two like tall drawer things actually aren't really mine, but I'm still gonna try to like go through everything and condense it because my goal is that all of these additional like bins and stuff will be put away into the storage we already have so that we don't have so much excess because it honestly just looks so messy right now i'm gonna take all the additional stuff off and move it to the floor and then we're gonna start going through every single bin i also recently collected a lot of additional craft supplies like these bins from both of my grandmas because they stopped like crafting and stuff so their one crafter grandchild took all of their sewing knitting everything else supplies so i've just accumulated a lot why am i defending myself so hard it's literally okay i literally make videos about crafting this is the reveal three more bins that's embarrassing over here i also have my sewing machine box my knitting machine box homie why do i have a bin of rice over here i'm just pure confusion right now Hi, Russell. Update, this is at the core what we're working with. I have all of the storage. This is my mom's like gnome box, okay? So this is gonna be untouched because she loves her gnomes. I swear there's like $500 worth of gnome material in there. These are like fabric things. I can definitely condense. Dear goodness. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of knitting stuff that honestly, it's just like knots and knots of like yarn. So I should go through that. Over here, I don't even know what's in here. I think it's my mom's scrapbooking stuff. So let's start organizing it. I know I have Q-tips here. I don't... Interesting. AirPods are going in. This is how we get into our cleaning mood. Cleaning playlist activated. actually never really done anything with stamps these are all my mom's but they're honestly really cute and now i'm getting kind of tempted to get back into my card making era okay guys so we are now on to the second set of drawers which this one is a bit concerning because like let me just show you this i have a lot of yarn and a lot of them are just like Tangled. I don't know what this was ever gonna be. I think I might need to scrap a lot of these unfortunately But this is just gonna be the long process of reorganizing my yarn so Okay guys, so here's the progress. I have this massive knot I need to get out. As it turns out, I have a lot of yarn. This is probably very helpful for me because I just keep going and buying more yarn, but I should, I don't know, really take a deeper look into this. But I think I'm going to organize this by material of yarn, then maybe by color, and then also by size, because I have some that are really tiny. So they're more like scraps, but I'm gonna just keep on trying to get this knot out, which is probably gonna take a good amount of time 
time and then I have all of these ones that are like falling apart that I need to like re-roll but I feel like I might even do that later when I'm like watching TV or something you know because multitasking <music> Look at this yarn ball I made. I think I'm getting better at this because this one looks so perfect. So I have a ton of granny squares that I just made that are kind of extra or they were just for practice. I think this was like knitting practice. And then these were like projects that I never really finished. But I think I'm going to keep all of these. I don't know if that's... Bad. Sure, I'll use the granny scores for something eventually. These, I genuinely have no clue what these were for. Like, I don't think they were just practice, but the fact that I have so many little knit squares definitely makes me think I had something in mind. So I'm just gonna keep them here until I remember. I have some other knitting thing that I guess I was like midway through, so I think I'm just gonna store that in here also. This top drawer right now kind of has random stuff in it, but I'm definitely gonna use this for like needles and other stuff. I don't know. I have packaging labels in here, but I'll fix that soon. But I really just want to reorganize all of my yarn. Hopefully, most of it will fit into this big bottom one. So let's see how much we can get in there. I'm going to kind of do it with the acrylic yarn on the bottom since I have the most of that and in color order. And then I'm going to kind of try to put the colors that I don't use quite as frequently on the bottom. All right, guys, this is not too bad in my opinion. Now everything that I have left is like cotton yarn. So I'm just going to put all of that on top of here. And so those are the yarns that I like the most. Guys, look at my yarn drawer. I am genuinely so happy that it looks so much better. <laughs> Guys, look at the little yarn balls. They're so cute. Alex held to me. Not that I would ever suggest doing this, but it was also kind of therapeutic while we were watching TV. And I don't know, I think they look so cute now. <laughs> Hello friends, so it is the next day. I took a little break in cleaning, but I'm gonna get back to organizing these bins I'm almost done with this entire second bin of all my yarn stuff All I really have left is this top drawer and I think I'm just gonna keep all like my needles in it Right now this drawer is very empty, but I'm sure once I go through these big bins I'll have more stuff to fill them I also have a couple bins over here like this one that are still a little empty So I'm gonna try to use that space as well as possible, but it is time to move on to these three huge bins This big bin right here is my mom's gnome bin So I'm not gonna touch that if you don't know what I'm talking about She makes little gnomes like this, but these two other bins have a bunch of my like sewing materials They have a bunch of wrap fabric and fabric that I was using to like upcycle stuff or like planned on thrift flipping But I think it's about time that I sort through it because I think there's a lot of pieces in here that I could honestly just donate at this point I also have a bunch of mini bins that I feel I really need to like resort through because it has like zippers and bells in it But like do I need that probably not. Oh my gosh this was from my the transfer t-shirt era. Okay, another bin I need to sort through. So I have a bunch of like Cricut supplies in here. I honestly need to use my Cricut more. So I think I'm gonna move my Cricut supplies to one of these bins. I have this like towel, like why do I have this? Maybe I was gonna use the material for something. Story of my life, right? Oh my gosh, this is literally scrap plastic bags that I cut up because I wanted to crochet like a grocery bag with them and I never did. I might sound like a hoarder, but I think I'm gonna keep this because I still wanna do that craft. a mess i've made right now can't wait to get this all sorted out what i've decided to do is in this bin i have all of the big pieces of fabric and like clothing items that i think i might upcycle Okay guys, it has been a hot second, but I condensed two of these bins at least down into one bin So we are only gonna have a stack of two here now, which is progress in my book. I can't believe 
I'm sweating this much from cleaning. Oh my god. But this top bin is like all of my sewing material and like things I plan on thrift flipping. So big pieces of fabric. Bottom is gnome stuff. And then I made this bin. I'm not really sure what's gonna go yet, but this bin has like smaller scrap pieces of fabric that I might use for like quilting or something. This bin has kind of like random stuff in it, like zippers and buttons. What I need to do now, which I think might take a hot second, is condense all of my sewing bins down. I have this bin, this bin, and then I also have a bunch of additional stuff and I just want it all to fit hopefully in this top bin. So that is what we're working on now. Guys, I'm not even gonna lie. I still consider myself a very new sewer, but this is a bunch of stuff from my grandma and she, oh my gosh, she was a real crafter. Look how, how much stuff she had. This is a makeup bag that I sewed not too long ago, but look how much thread I have now and like in every color I'd possibly ever need. Okay guys, so this is the finished craft area part one. I will see you guys shortly when I start working on the second part of all my craft stuff. Hello friends, so it is a new day and we are moving on to our second part of cleaning and this is a completely different room but I have a lot more craft supplies over here so let's see what it's looking like right now. So most of it is in storage bins. I know it's insane that I actually like have this many. And they're semi organized and like stuck to what it's labeled as but I just feel like I can tidy it up and get rid of things that I don't need and also just like the top part of this is honestly such a hot mess. It does not need to look like that. So let's go through all of this. I actually think I'm gonna start with everything that's on the windowsill and try to get it moved away. And then we're gonna move into everything that's in these drawers. Guys, my mom is such a jar collector. Look at this. I honestly can't even blame her though. I absolutely just like love jars. Look, I like use them for everything. This is so inefficient for spacing though. It holds like five paintbrushes. We even kept like chickpea jars, but I also kind of think this looks cute so I might just keep this all right so now that we have all this cleared off this thing is honestly just like such a mess I definitely need to clean this out So it is another day and we finally finished cleaning everything. So I'm gonna give you a little updated tour of my craft supplies. I feel a lot better. I know where everything is now and I was able to get rid of a lot. So I'm very happy about that. I don't think that I got to show you guys this area yet, but I actually was able to get rid of one extra set of these bins because I condensed it down a little bit. But let's just go through everything real quick. You guys saw me organize all of this. Honestly, I can't kept most of the pens and everything because they're all still like good and fine and I use them pretty frequently. At the top, I used to have a lot of extra stuff here but I limited down to big paintbrushes, small paintbrushes, and then this is a thing of like mini beads. I have these two storage containers on top that have different scraps of paper in them for like card making or scrapbooking or anything like that. I have this little container and right now it just has one of the boxes from the other room that just has random craft stuff in it but I decided to keep this because sometimes it's easy to like carry this around if I'm gonna go paint at a park or transport my craft supplies anywhere moving on to all of the bins I'm gonna go through this so quick because there are literally what 12 bins here it's still like a little cluttery and have time to like buy new containers and everything but at least it's put away this bottom drawer oh my gosh is kind of like office -y supplies this one has a bunch of beads and jewelry making stuff this one has all of my string and friendship bracelet making stuff. This one, as you can see, labeled beads. Bunch of beads in there. This one has more jewelry making stuff, but more like pliers, wires, different kinds of string. This is literally just random stuff. I have like duct tape, dried flowers, gold flake. This one and this one have all my paint. This one has even more brushes and spray paint and wood stain. This one, canvases. This one has tie-dye stuff. 
And then this one has more colored pencils and like charcoals. Okay, and we're now running to the other room so I can show you what's in all of these other containers. I show you guys this already a little bit. This has just random stuff. This is my mom's. This has like glitter. Honestly, not sure. This is for like knitting or something. This one, this one, and this one all has different like stamps and ink pads. Scissors, markers, so much tape. More tape. This one just has like mini containers. Those are also my mom's. Oh my gosh, it won't close. All my Cricut supplies. And then this one down here just has like different kinds of like paper and cardstock. My knitting bin. This was the yarn bin that took forever to organize. This one has like half finished projects in it. This thing has a bunch of thread and then I have all my crochet hooks and needles over here. You guys already saw what's underneath it. The top bin just has a bunch of fabric and the bottom bin has my mom's gnome supplies and that's like my sewing machine box and other scraps of fabric down there okay guys i know i literally sound like a broken record for saying this but i have so much stuff but thank you for coming with me to organize it and i know i sound like a cliche youtuber but my camera is literally gonna die all right guys thank you so much for joining me on this little cleaning journey i hope that this video inspires you to get to organizing and cleaning a little bit i feel like i've been on the grind with that this summer so if there's other cleaning videos you guys want to see or if you just want to see more organizational videos let me know because i love filming these i will see you guys all in the next video thanks so much for joining bye guys <laughs>